Hey everybody! Alright, so we're going to be doing a playthrough of a two-player game of Tiny Epic Defenders The Dark War. We're doing the Great Battle, so uh, in this one we set the game up with the uh, normal regions, uh, except for the Capital City region uh, should have eight threat thresholds. Let me just swap that out real quick. I still have an old printing of the um, Capital City. So, let's get this one in there. There we go. And then... Uh, We'll just have to remember that the capital city has the Dark War region ability, uh, which is that you can spend an XP to draw a new skill card if uh, you don't like the skill card that you have, and then you can trade them out. So you don't get a new skill card, you just swap it out. Sweet. Um, okay, so with that said, uh, in the Great Battle, one of the uh, regions is going to be the hostile advanced region from uh, the Dark War, and then one of them is going to be the friendly uh, advanced region from the Dark War. So here we have the Friendly Forest, which uh, features this 3D tree construct. Uh, this region, you have to spend an action to jump up into the tree, uh, and then from the tree you can actually reduce the threat in other outer regions, and you'd pay one action point per region away. So I could like reduce the threat in the coast for one action, or the desert for two actions, for instance. Um, however, if you do start your turn in the tree, you have to end your turn outside the tree, so you just can't finish in the tree. Uh, and then the hostile mountains that we have here has the Savage Manticore. So this Manticore, uh, when that region that the Manticore is in uh, gets hit, it's going to move clockwise. And if there's a player there, they're going to either have to lose a health or they're going to have to run. And if they're in the same region as the Manticore, they can't defend. So that guy's going to be chasing us around the board. Um, all right, so for the planes, we have safeguard. This says we can defend the two uh, regions adjacent to the planes. Nice. Here in the ruins, we have rectify. This one allows us to swap the top two cards from the discard pile with the top two cards from the turn deck. So it's situational, but uh, can be really, really helpful if used properly. And then uh, over here, we have bury. Now the desert, uh, this one costs health instead of actions, which uh, is in line with how the desert functioned in the original version. But now uh, you're actually going to get something nice for spending that health. This one allows you to bury um, the top two cards from the turn deck. It's pretty much just going to spend those cards this round, but it's not going to, uh, they're not going to have effect. So again, this one's situational. You may end up losing some player actions, or if you, uh, if you can kind of, you know, if this is later in the round and you know player actions have come out, you can kind of hedge your bet there and maybe burn some of the enemy actions, which is really nice. And then the coast, uh, we got rejuvenate. So this one's, if the coast's threat level is at zero, you can spend two action points to restore your hero to full health. So that's going to help that's gonna uh, from having to like always go into the capital city and stuff. This is another way to get healed. So that'll be awesome. Um, Nate is playing the mechanic. So Nate, why don't you read off your ability? Yeah, so the mechanic's ability is contraption. Uh, when you defend, instead of losing health, I may pay XP equal to twice what you would have lost in health instead. That's pretty awesome. And yeah, then what's the skill that you chose? Yeah, so the skill that I chose was first aid, which is going to allow me to spend two experience points on my turn to restore one health uh, to yourself or my region. That's pretty handy. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I've got the raptor, the bird folk. This one uh, says whenever you defend against a regular enemy, you may lose two health to defend both of the regions on that card. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and then the skill that I have is the potion crafter. So I, this one's pretty pricey, but it's uh, really nice. I can spend five experience points on my turn, and I can distribute three health to other defenders in any regions. So, so that's pretty great. Um, all right, so with that said, we've got everything already built out. We've got our epic foe chose, the uh, horde decks built, the turn decks built. Let's go ahead and take a look at the caravan, see sure. where our first caravan goes. First caravan is going to be going into the mountain region. Okay, so um, every round we're going to be adding a caravan to a different region and, and it's uh, shown on the bottom of the caravan what region it's going to go into and then we have to save this caravan by bringing it over to the capital city all six caravans have to be in the capital city before we can destroy the epic foe uh, and it costs experience points to move the caravans so just so you know how that works all right so otherwise the game uh, is going to essentially run um, the same as the original as in terms of like how the turn deck works and all that but then as new things pop up we'll go ahead and, and address those and kind of show you what we've updated um all right so looks like the turn deck's on your side nate so why don't you start us off start us off 
All right. So the first hit is uh, to the coast, and the second hit is to the ruins. Right, the so man. now um, there's a first and second. So you'll do your first hit, and then you'll do your second hit. And that, ma that order matters because if the first hit destroys a region, that card gets consumed and the second region doesn't get hit. All right. So this one hits the uh, mountains first, and that's going to move the manticore Ooh. clockwise to the ruins, and then it hits the plains. So go ahead with the yep. next one, and you'll see uh, this is going to hit the desert and the mountains again. So the first three cards that came out are enemy cards. That's part of the new change in how we seed the start of the turn deck. And then every round, that'll get shuffled back into a, a, a random order. But on the very first round, it's made specific so that three enemies come out first, and then the heroes will act and, and start cleaning up some of the damage. Right, the, the chaos has begun. Okay. So we've got all defenders cards. So we'll be able to split three actions up between us. Um... Okay, so we know a couple of things. We know that the mountains uh, is under the most pressure yes. and the forest is under the least pressure. So it'd probably be good to get over to the mountains. Um, also, there's a caravan there conveniently. Mm. So I'll head over to the mountains. Yeah. And I'll One, head, into two. The, head into the coast. Yep, that sounds let's, good. Let's do that. Three. Ah, okay. So red's action. So I will use an action's point to reduce. Let's see. Probably head into the desert and reduce it as well. Two, three. Okay. Okay, so we don't have any experience quite yet, um, though on our turn we can always spend an action point to get uh, experience. But uh, in this case, I'm going to jump over to the ruins, reduce its threat, and come back with it for I the think, three actions. I think that's great. Okay. Because then I knew my card was going to come up yep. next, so I can go one, two, and then on my third action, I'm going to stay, but I'm going to take an experience point instead of doing an action. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Okay. All right, so then uh, let's shuffle the, a new card from the horde deck into the turn deck. And then we are ready to begin the second round. So let's take another caravan yep. and put him out. And it looks like we've got the planes. Okay. The far away ones. Yes. <laughs> okay, so the turn deck is shuffled. Okay. I'll let you do the honors, yes, sir. sir. All right, and we're coming in. Ooh. Okay, so let's see. So you have some experience. Yeah, I could, I could move the caravan at least one place. So I'll do that. I'll take the caravan with me over here into the ruins. Um, I don't know that I want to stay there because I can't yeah. really defend while I'm there. I could take a second action and move up to the plains and then... That's not too bad. Maybe on your third action... So I, can, I can move over to the mountains knowing that it's getting a hit? That's a good idea. Let's try Let's that. Do that. Let's try that. Okay. Well, boom. boom. So the mountains is hit. And I will choose to defend and gain an experience point. Okay, great. And then the plains are hit in which I will also defend and gain an experience. There we go. Positioned ourselves well. All right, and that'd be okay. So let's see here. So I I could get the I could get the um, caravan into the capital city and end up myself back up into the coast. I think that's pretty good. I think that's good. So we'll do one, and then I'll move this two, and I'll go ahead and spend my XP. But I returned a caravan to the capital city, so I'm gonna go ahead and get two XP for that. And then I'll use my third action, I'll move out into the coast. Okay, I think that's great. All right, all defenders card. Okay, so I will, let's see, I've got an experience as yeah. well. So I'll go, I'll go one, I'll reduce the planes. I'll move over here for two and spend that experience. I can't quite get uh, it inside the capital city, so yeah. I'll move over to the mountains. That's nice, because... Again, knowing that it's a hot topic. Whoa! Okay, all right. <laughs> so we see our first dire enemy. This is the phantoms, and they come to hit the ruins. So this is going to increase two threat in the ruins at, at the end of the round. So leave this card out as a reminder. Wow. Plus it does one damage to the ruins just right now, which also moves the manticore. And, and unfortunately, I think we maybe have one, My blue card maybe is still in the deck. Otherwise... Nice. Otherwise, we're not in good shape with the ruins. Yeah, the, the ruins was a hotbed. The caravan, the manticores. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> a lot there. That was a fun one. Okay, so Desert's going to have to take that hit. Okay. 
And then the mountains, and I'm going to... So, so oh, I'm in the mountains. Oh, you're in the mountains, yes. Um, and I will go ahead and take that hit yeah. and gain an experience. Good call. Okay, so Coast. the coast... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defend. Okay, cool. And I'm going to get my experience up. And the ruins. So if we, don't def if we don't do at least one... If we don't reduce the threat in the ruins at least once before the end of this, we're going we're gonna to lose. But I think that's got to be my it's card, It's got to right? be your card. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's got to right, be your card. Right. That's good. So that's great. So I will move over to the ruins and... I, I have to reduce its threat by one. Yep. I have no choice on that. Um, so that's two actions. I don't think I move the caravan in yet. No. I think I stay here. I reduce it again. One more. And that's and then that's what we do. And then this is going to deal two damage to it right <sighs> now. Boom. And then this goes back into here. Uh, that's the end of this round. The new card gets added. But we know now that the... Dire enemy is in the ruins, so we do have an opportunity to maybe try to make a grab for some artifacts if we can defend him. Yeah, which we, which we can there. also defend the dire enemy from the planes because it's the mm. safeguard ability of the planes. Very true. So we do have some flexibility there. All right, let's see where this third caravan goes. All right. Third caravan into the forest. The forest has activity. <laughs> All right, yeah, friendly activity. The yeah. forest is like amazing. It's <laughs> such a relief. <laughs> It requires none of our attention. Yes, it's been very nice. All right, that's ready to go. All right, here we go. Ooh, red defender card. So, so I'm actually going to, because the coast is um, full, I'm going to spend two of my action points to rejuvenate myself up to full health. Oh, that's great. That, I think that, and, then, um, and, then in that, and then I'm going to go ahead and move to the desert. Okay. And then I'm actually going to spend two of these experience points using my first aid skill to heal one of these in this region. Hmm, I think that allows mm. you to heal your personal Oh, my person. Nope, thank you. So what you can do instead is is sack the health in the region if you want to if you want to do the berry, but or actually sack the health to do the sacrifice action, which is to give you an action to reduce the threat that you're wanting, then spend the 2 XP to heal yourself back that. Yes. That health. Yeah, see, and that's where those skills and your players they start yes. comboing well together. So that's you got awesome. there. Yep. Just had to figure out there's a, just a different route, but nope, that's good. end result was the same. That's really good. Okay. Okay. All right. There, there we go. And I have two health. Perfect. So I have just enough health to defend that phantom, so I will do that. That takes me down to zero. That's very good, though. But I get an artifact. Yay! Uh, ooh, cool. Oh. I got the Skull of Bale. So this one says that I can spend an action and a health in combination to look through the turn deck, pull any one defender card out, and resolve it immediately once per turn, and then I have to shuffle the remaining cards. That's pretty sweet. That's great. So I'm going to set that uh, next to my guy, and while I don't have the... Production samples of these items from the factory. I'm using Tiny Epic Quest items. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to equip the skull or the bomb as my skull, because then that little the the wick is kind of like the thread, <laughs> the fabric coming off that skull. All right. I like it. Okay, sweet. That's uh, that's good timing, because um, I don't have any help. No. So, <laughs> but I do have an experience. You do. You can. And get I can the... escort yes. the. Caravan into the capital city. I'll gain two experience for that, and otherwise, uh, that's the end of that's my round. Right, yeah. yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. So, so long as I take one action from this all defenders card, then it's considered my turn, which is good for restoring to full health yeah, in the capital city. Yeah, and the ruins are looking pretty. Yeah. yeah, so I'll head back out to the ruins. I'll go to full health, and we still have two more actions on that card. Um, Let's see. You know, we've gone through a pretty good amount of the player cards. Yeah. It may not be a bad idea to burn to burn a let's, couple let's, of cards to bury some cards. Here we go. First one burnt. There it is. Sweet. Second one burnt. Sweet. Look at so that. Those, That's great. Great call. So those get buried. They they go into this little window here. Oh yes. Just to show that they're out for the rest of the round, because um, they're not part of the discard pile. Great point. Uh, okay, so, but we still actually have some actions. We do, we still have the two actions. So, I'll just, maybe I'll just take the ruins down to zero. I think that's the best, best case scenario. Okay, so desert's hit and mountains are hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna choose to let it go up. Okay. Okay. All right, the coast is hit, the ruins are hit, mm. I will defend and gain an XP. Awesome. Ooh, all defenders card. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape. We are. Um, 
I think I'm gonna maybe I could I could either uh, jump over to the mountains, restore it, move back to the ruins no. to be there for next I, round. I, I think you do that. I think the, uh, that that dire enemy is really dangerous. Or we can try to get you an artifact, but I'm not sure if it's as efficient no. getting you to the ruins. I don't think so. I I think that restoring the mountain and coming back, yes. Okay. Because the coast isn't under a lot of duress, and uh, frankly, the forest is just fine. Yeah. <laughs> the forest is great. This whole northern half, it's its a very concentrated down here, these these regions. Yeah, are, the plains weren't hit either. Uh -huh. All right, so got a new card added in. Getting the turn deck shuffled, and we're going to go. All right, here we go. Oh, let's see where our caravan is going to be located. The runes. All right. There he is. Right there where you're at. Very nice. Okay, so the desert and the mountains. I'm going to defend against the desert and get myself an experience point. Okay. Okay. Mmm, mm. the planes are just hit with the second dire enemy. This is the pterodactyl. So, before any players can defend, defenders in the opposite region must lose two health, which is the desert. Wow. wow. So, so, essentially, the pterodactyl flew in from this direction, clipped you on his way in, and then hit the planes. He got me. Which will send the manticore over to the forest. Yeah, he got you good. He was in there. Wow, he was, that was really unfortunate for you. He was ready. Hey, look at that. Oh, we didn't shuffle these cards oh. in. That's, that's our bad, but we'll just go ahead and add it in now and, uh, you know. Keep, keep calm and carry on. Okay, so what I can do, though, is to stay in this fight, I'm actually going to use my XP on my turn, spend two of that XP to give me my health. Okay. So now I can do something. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going gonna, I'm, so I'm gonna to spend... Actually, you know, what I can do is I can spend. Actually, I can. So I can move one action, two actions, mm -hmm. and then on my third sacrifice to to get the two mm -hmm. actions and rejuvenate myself back up to full health. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That works. There we go. You sacrifice to get that fourth action. Yep. And you spend those two to use the ability. Yep. Okay. And right, the mount is skills hit. coming in handy, huh? Planes get hit. Ooh, all right. There we go. Okay, so we got an all defenders card. Um, Both sitting at pretty decent health. Mm -hmm. We know that. The, you know, I feel like the mountains is coming. The planes, it's all, it's getting there. Everybody's getting there now. So I'm gonna head to the mountains. Yes, I think it's a great call. I'm gonna reduce it by one. And I kind of want to go back to the. Yeah, I, that dire enemy's or got me scared. maybe even the planes, because... You sacrifice and get to the planes? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, because I can defend the ruins from the planes, and from the planes I can defend the pterodactyl. So, mm. whatever one comes out, I should be able to defend. It's going to take me to zero, but... That's, I think that's setting ourselves up. Okay, so the coast gets hit. We'll let that go up. The ruins get hit. The planes get hit. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to have to let it yeah. go up because I don't want to be below two health. And then that force gets hit, which hey. is going to move the manticore here, which is going to require mm. me to... Either run or lose a health. I'm going to run. Okay. I'm going to run. So that must have been the card added because this is the first time we've seen the forest hit. Mm, yeah, so we know I'm playing forest. Okay. So I can defend the phantoms. Yes. <laughs> uh, so that'll take me down to zero health, but I defend them successfully. Yes. And... Ooh, I found the Glaive of Return. Mm, nice. So now, when you defend against a regular enemy, you do not lose health. But after defending, the Glaive must be returned, must be placed in the capital city. Now, any defender that later enters the capital city can pick it up. Very cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna use the boomerang as my Glaive. Great choice. So my guy's getting pretty decked out here. Okay. Okay. Okay, all defenders. I got planes, man. Yeah. I did laugh. <laughs> so let's just go one, one, two, three. Yeah, I think okay. that's. I think that's. Uh, the I'm best. at zero health though. So, uh, but it'd take me two actions to get in. Is this the pterodactyl? Is it? <laughs> Is it? Or did we already see the pterodactyl this round. Um. Right. Was he the first one to come out? When I defended that dire, I should have got a yes. uh, experience, yes. so I should be there. Um, 
So let's just draw the card and see what happens. <laughs> let's just do it. <laughs> Boom! Uh, see, if I'd have ran yep. to the capital city, uh. I could have got healed up. That's okay. Sometimes that happens. But what I can do is I can, I can go one, two. I can go one, two. Take that yes. caravan with me. I'll spend one to do it. I'll gain two. Yep. For my third action, I'm just going to gain another experience point. So I'm almost leveled up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. Okay. Let's add one more card. Overall, we're doing great. I think we. I think we're staying safe. Shape. I think we're staying safe. This round, things may turn. And the coast now gets. Caravan. Yeah. This. I think this is going to be the hump. We got to get over this hump. <laughs> yep. This is this is the hump. This turn. round is going to be a little tricky, because this turn deck is starting to feel pretty fat. Yes. Okay. Okay, here we so go. We okay, so the coast and the ruins. That's not good information. And the manticore is coming. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run. Okay. Well, not in some yeah, that's a good. That's what I was thinking. Whew, there we All go. All defender's card. Okay, so I can I can use an action. I'll yes. come out to the ruins. Well, you're kind of maybe on your way to yeah. the ruins. I I can do, do should I go on my way to the ruins? Yeah, you should go to the ruins and I maybe go to the coast. Okay, there you go. So why don't you go to the ruins? And then and we still have one more, more one more action. Um, maybe before you left the mountains. Let's do that. You Defend the threat. That's good because the mountains is going to mm -hmm. get pummeled a little. Plains. Okay, plains. And the forest. And we know that that we know that the pterodactyl hits anybody in the desert. So. Ooh, that's good thinking too. Kind of Desert's not a good spot. From there. Ooh, blue. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not sure that it's the best idea to worry about the caravans right think, now. I don't think. I don't think so. We ought to concentrate on the threat levels of regions. So how about we go one, two, and I'll move over to here for three. Okay, I like that. Here we go. Mm. Boom, okay, on there. there. Yep, good, that was a great so call. The phantoms getting, came to the ruins. Great call getting to there. So I'm gonna spend my two health and I'm gonna pick up an artifact. All right. Yes, one of my favorites, the Ale of Bravery. All right. At zero health, I can still secure or fight fight one, mm. e once each turn. That's good. So there you go. Thank you. That's, a, that's an awesome one. That one is really going to come in handy. Yeah, it will. There We've we both been at zero health a couple times already. Yes, we have. <laughs> okay. Forest, hey, look at that. that. An experience for yes, I certainly will. Thank you. Okay, so the forest... I'll go ahead and defend that, yeah. gain an experience. Ooh, you're getting close to that level, deficit. which is pretty awesome. Mm. I knew that guy so was coming. So we're not present to defend the pterodactyl. So he hits, okay, but nobody's in the desert, so that's, right. the, that's not too, too They bad. said hi on his way by. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, so... Hmm. The forest is now getting hit twice. So mm -hmm. we know that now. It's now getting hit twice. I'm kind of wondering if I should reduce the threat in the forest by one and then move the caravan over to the coast. I think that's great. I think that, I think that works. It'll cost me an experience to do that. Um, do we have... Do we have any more... Uh, defender cards I, in the turn? I, I, I feel like... Like mine, right? Yeah. So maybe for the third action, though, you go to the plane. To be able to safeguard, yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. And then I'll sack. This just moves it to the front. And it, so it's already going to get played. Yes. So this is really better. The skull is better to use it at the beginning of a, of a round. Correct. Where you have so I'm less. Hold off. Yeah, where you yeah. have less of an opportunity. I'm going to hold off on doing that. That was me. Oh, okay. Well, let's reduce this there. And... Hmm. Let's think for a second. So I could go into the runes, reduce it by one, and come back into the plains. I think that's probably good. Let's try that. Okay. Desert is getting high. And the mountains get hit. And the sky comes over here. So the mountains get hit and he runs again. Oof. And then the plains get hit. I'm going to let the planes get hit. Okay. Ooh. All right. So okay, that this was... is... It's getting a little bit more intense. So where's the last... 
That goes to the desert? Yes, it does. Okay, so this is the final round before we see the epic foe. So, let's... Uh, I feel like we're doing good. Yeah, it's, it's it, getting a little it, scary. We it, could lose the desert right now. Yeah. <laughs> the desert could just straight up be lost right this moment. <laughs> and the mountains could be hot on its heels. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> there you go. Here we are. Let's see. All right, this is best case scenario, actually, because yeah. now I can use my skull, too. Yes. So what I'm going to do, I'll come over to the desert. I'll go one, two. So that's all three of my actions. Yep. But I'm going to spend an experience point and a health to search through here, find a defender card. Awesome. Which... I'll choose your defender card. Yep. So we'll resolve this immediately. Okay. The rest of these get shuffled. So I'm definitely thinking bring the planes down. Yeah, okay. maybe bring the planes down and maybe even mm -hmm. heal yourself and yeah. stay in the plane. Yeah, I like that. One, two, three. Spend two of my XP and get myself a hit point. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's really nice. Yeah, because now I can just stay there. And I, I can defend quite a bit. I can take quite a beating. Ah, the Dwarf Mechanic. <clears throat> Great call, man. That was, that was the desert we were going to lose. Okay, so... We'll just let the desert get hit. Because, well, I'm at two health. I'm going to defend the desert. Yeah. Because if that pterodactyl hits me, I'd rather him take one health than two. Right, that's good. And the mountains get hit. Okay. So the forest gets hit. Okay, I'm going to let that get hit. The desert gets hit, in which this time I'm going to let it get hit. Yep. Actually, so I'm going to defend it with my glaive. Ooh, there so you go. So it doesn't take the damage, and then the glaive goes into the capital city. Nice. And so if you go to the capital city, or whoever goes there next can pick up that glaive. And we have lost the mountains. Oh, wow. Okay. And that consumes the cards, so the planes don't get hit. So the mountains has been destroyed. Uh, when a region is destroyed, the capital city automatically takes a hit. Okay. Okay, so now we get four actions, though, because we have a region that's yeah, been destroyed. Yeah, great, great point. Um, that Manitor's got a lockdown on with that, with that uh, dire enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty combo. I, I feel good with my health where I'm at. I feel, uh -huh. I feel very strong in this forest. Even my ill bravery. I, I mean, I can take it. Beating. I can reduce the... <laughs> I can reduce the desert by one, move the caravan over here for one XP. I can move inside, because I'm low on health. Yeah, I can move I think inside pick, the capital pick up that glaive. So that would be one, two, three. This would be my third action. I pick up the glaive. I spend three XP moving all three of those caravans in. But then I gain six XP, which puts me exactly at eight. Wow. And so I will take the level up. Yes. This is going to fill me to full health. And uh, I get to draw a new skill card. Very cool. So now I have strength as well as, so I'm level two now. And I have strength and uh, potion crafter. So strength, when defending, you may substitute two experience points for each health lost, but you don't gain experience from defending this way. So I will go here and this comes back to me. And then that was so I one, two, three, and I actually get a fourth action. Yeah, you, and since I'm yes. at full health, I'm just going to head out of the capital city. Yeah, you city. are. That's awesome. So I'm going to head over to the ruins. Yep. Here we go. Did that one turn. Oof. Okay. <laughs> so maybe we go one, two. There you go. Or maybe we do this. Maybe we go. You maybe go to the forest, one, reduce it, two, go back to the plains, three, and I just go to the mountains for four. That's that's a good call. Look at that, too. Okay. I'll take that hit. All I'll right. get an XP from that. Artifact. All right. Let's see what we're rolling with now. Ah, the automaton arm. Oh, sweet. That's the one that's uh, going to be getting upgraded soon. Ah, yes. The, the forearm back. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very excited about that. Me, too. All right. Each time the threat level increases in your current region, I get a gain of health. Wow, that's very okay, nice. Okay, sweet. That's going to be very nice to try to defend lots of stuff. Love them up here, and I'll take uh, what's a good autom automaton arm? Mm, there you go. Here's the shovel. There we go. It's made of metal. 
A great item in Panic Quest. Okay. So he's been defended and nobody was in the desert. Okay, so the planes get hit and the forest gets hit. The phantom. Now you don't have enough to defend nope, it. No, they do not. So the so the ruins go up. The phantom stays out. And he's going to deal two damage to the ruins right. the next time. And Manticore comes after me. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have to run. Okay. Woo! Wow. Whoa. The ruins get hit. And the coast. And the coast gets hit. Holy smokes! The coast gets so, hit. So coast get. Oh man! And it was the order the ruins where we got. is destroyed. Wow. Which does a damage to the capital city. Wow. And then the phantom increases the threat in the ruins too, which is the oh. capital city. So the capital city is up to four. What a level. nasty, that was, nasty that was guy. The, that was the meanest <laughs> thing that the phantom could have ever done. Okay, so so we know that the caravans have been saved. We're ready for the epic foe. There, we still have a chance here. We, we lost two regions, but we still have a chance here. Okay, so let's see who we're fighting. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. The Sphinx. He comes out to the desert. Now, if a defender inflicts two consecutive damage to the Sphinx, their turn immediately ends. They may not spend any more actions or sacrifice health until their next turn. So he's just a big... He's just stone. Wow. So he comes out to the desert. We'll just put him here. Yeah. And then you can just put the turn deck... Up here, when cool. we play it, I can play off yeah, the turn. Yeah, there you go. Let's do that. Okay, so hey, first one is the All Defenders card. Oh, look so, at that. So we got a chance. Um, all right. Hmm. Well, with how he works, <laughs> it's good. So we get four actions. Yep. And it's good to do things first and then hurt him. Right. Because he kills your turn. Yes. So. And I, 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 there's not anything I can really do over where I'm at. No. I, think I you could move potentially... Over. I think you move over and start beating him. But I would lose an action that way. But we get three, four actions. You could, t you could reduce the threat in the forest. Or you could go one... See, if you went one, two, and then you beat him down two, your turn's over anyway. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yes, it's, for all, it's everybody's turn is over. Right. Yes, well, because okay. he's going to end the turn of the person whose turn it is or whatever. So if you do two consecutive... So if I were to move over and do two consecutive... I mean, you could still do one, but but then I'd be out of the mountains, and I'd rather be here to defend. Yeah, no, that's better. So one, two, three, three four, four, turn yeah. over. Yep. Yep, that's very efficient. Oh, he strikes you. <laughs> So, uh, so the pterodactyl and the sphinx is a horrible combination <laughs> with how the regions are lined yes, up. Yes, they are. So the pterodactyl strikes you, and then he increases the threat of the planes. Uh, so, um, oh, but the threat level wasn't increasing, so my automaton arm won't Didn't trigger. Didn't function. But I do have the Ale of Bravery, so mm. I still can fight once or secure once per turn uh, with the Ale of Bravery. You so can still get one more smack yeah, on that guy. I, I'm standing in front of the sphinx, just... <laughs> Drunken master. <laughs> All right, so the planes get hit. And the forest gets hit. Oh, wow. So this increases the threat of the capital city. And this is going to sit here and, and destroy the capital city at the end of the round. With nothing, with no way to stop that. Nope. Because we have no way yeah, to it's reduce... It's at, it's at five. One, it's at five. Oh, it's at five right now? It's at five right so now. So it's not actually going to nope. quite destroy it. Yeah, it's at five. Wow. But anything else, and it will surely be destroyed. Okay, like this. So the ruins get hit. So now the capital city's threat goes up. And the coast gets hit. So now the capital city's... Yeah, the fate is decided. <laughs> we will lose this round if we don't defeat the Sphinx. Mountains, I'll defend, yep. obviously. Yep. I'm going to defend that with my glaive. Very good call. And then the desert gets hit. And I... Um, I'm going to have to let it get hit. Okay. A will only allows me to secure, secure or fight. Red. Okay. You, got, you can heal yourself. It's two XP. I'm sitting at one. You can spend an XP potential. You can spend an action potentially to gain that XP if it if it works out right. I don't yeah. know. So let's see. Because you're at zero health and you get four actions total. What yeah. can we do for you? So let's see. So if I spend an action down to three, gain an XP. I can spend. I can spend. Um, Both of those to gain your health. To gain my health, and then that leaves me with two actions left, and I can hit the swings twice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's... Yeah, because the AO would allow me to fight, but only once. So I would only be able to deal one damage. Mm-hmm. I think that's the best way to do it. I think it is. 
and then you got a health. Yeah, here we so, go. Okay, so he's at six hit points. Can we do it? Uh, I don't think we can. I don't think we can. We, we need something that deals extra damage. All right. The forest gets hit, which destroys which destroys the forest, but so then that means the desert doesn't get hit. The great tree the, is burning. The tree is burnt, and the capital city is at seven. <laughs> I'm up. Okay. Oh, man. It's not enough. It's not. It's just not enough. My artifacts aren't going to be that helpful either. Yeah, right yeah, we, we, we didn't get any that helped kill him. I can him. move over, do two damage, so now he's at four health. Okay. That ends my turn. Yeah. And then I have one card and left. I could have spent one action on a XP before I moved. Yep, that's a good idea. All defenders card. Oh, man. We can't, we can't get him. We can. We can. Because if a defender... Because we're both present. We're both in his region. Oh, my gosh. So if a defender inflicts two consecutive damage to the Sphinx, their turn immediately ends. Not the card, but their turn. So this we get four actions off you of this. You can hit him twice, now you can hit him twice. So I'll hit him twice. Your turn's ended. I'll hit him twice. Wow! What the glass we, card! And this and no matter what, the phantoms were gonna destroy we're the capital. Destroyed. They had to be that hit. So we weren't gonna survive another round no matter what. Wow. Heck yeah, we beat it. We Holy destroyed smokes. the Sphinx in the nick of time. The last turn of the game. Well, all right. We have won Tiny Epic Defenders, the great battle. The kingdom lives at least for another day. Yes, Ogmore survives. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions or anything, and we'll be back later with more. Take care.